the center has put out a, uh, a poll, um, and it polled Donald Trump supporters, people who voted for Donald Trump. And uh, the results are, there's some very interesting uh, tidbits to pick out, but overall, tell us what you found. Sure, and let me just add a, a footnote to that. This is the largest study of just Trump voters. We didn't take any Hillary Clinton voters or any third party voters. It's just Trump voters, a thousand of them. Plus, we did eight separate focus groups in the key states that put Trump over the top, such as Michigan and, and Pennsylvania and Wisconsin uh, and Ohio. So uh, we feel we've, we've gotten uh, in, a, in a crystallized form after working for many weeks on this, a good take on what Trump voters are thinking as we approach that 100 day mark. And I guess I could summarize uh, some of the findings for you. First, it's pretty clear that uh, Trump has lost almost none of his backers, including the soft Trump voters. He's still got 92, 93 percent of them uh, supporting him. Uh, it's also true that he hasn't gained uh, many people from the other side. We live in a very polarized era. It's awfully tough to get people to change sides. Uh, what I found fascinating, and no one else has identified this, 20 percent of Trump voters actually voted for Obama either in 2008 or in 2012 or in both years. In other words, a fifth of his vote came from Obama voters. And that tells you how many defections there were from Hillary Clinton. It, it's even higher than most people had guessed. Uh, that's that's the tidbit. That's the interesting tidbit, if you will. I don't mean to diminish it. Uh, fact, I should say, that sticks out in my mind. That that struck me. That I mean, that's that's a large percentage of his vote. Now we knew there were disaffected Democrats. We knew there were people in the areas that had been ignored in this campaign by Hillary. Uh, but but interesting. Uh, I'm going to make the leap because I think it's consistent. I think you'll agree. So not only did these 20 percent uh, of Trump voters once vote for Obama. But it looks like even at this point, they're still sticking around with Trump, correct, based on the polling? That, that is correct. And here's something we got from the focus groups more than from the actual poll. Uh, this artificial deadline of 100 days that I have argued against for decades because it just goes back to one president. Only one president had a super successful first 100 days. Franklin Roosevelt in 1933 under very specialized conditions. Uh, it's so artificial. I know we've done it for every new president, but it's really time to let it go. But these Trump voters get that. And they, they don't think it's nearly a, enough time. And they said that. And they said, you know, we want to give him enough time to do the things he pledged to do. If he doesn't do them, yes, we'll be upset. But we're not upset because we're approaching this 100-day mark that somebody in the media made up.